In this video, we're going to take stereoscopic VR 180 degree video and mix it with another stereoscopic VR 180 degree video to make the complete circle so that you will see one video in front of you and one video behind you, giving you a full stereoscopic 360 with two different scenes. So as it turns out, when you have stereoscopic 180, it's just fine to have it side by side, being that the left eye is on the left, the right eye is on the right. It's fine for your headset and it's great for YouTube and everything works fine. But when you go to 360, everything has to go to over under. So left eye has to go to the top and the right eye has to go to the bottom. Side by side doesn't work for 360. So this can be accomplished uh, to get the over under to happen in the Insta360 Studio 2020 program. Um, you could just tell it to go over under instead of side by side, and then you can make your videos and then put them into Premiere and make your movie. So I'm going to bring some videos from the EVO camera here, and I'm going to drop them into this program. There's a few of them. I'll pause it. And it will default, generally speaking, to side by side, left eye on the left, right eye on the right. Um, but all you need to do is in the projection type here on the right, change that to vertical VR180, left eye on top. Make sure it is left eye on top. So you do that and it switches to this. Um, so ready to go for Premiere after you make this video. So you can't go directly into Premiere with the plugins because for some reason it doesn't seem to want to convert to the left eye on top. It always seems to keep it side by side. I've been playing with it and I can't seem to get it to do any, anything else. So you really have to use this um, Studio 2020 to do this. So I'm gonna take out you know, the part of my video that I wanna use. I'm then going to click on the export yellow button right here. All this is fine. Drop this to about 50 megabits per second. More than that's kind of overkill. 264 video is great. Um, give it a name and hit OK. And it will then make the video. Now I'm going to open up Premiere. And bring in videos that I've made that are all top bottom or over under. So here's Premiere. Um, I will make a new project and hit OK. And then I'm going to import the videos that I've made with the Studio 2020. So here we are, import. And I made uh, actually four of them. I'll bring in all of them. And here they are. So I'm going to drag one of them in. To the timeline by just going from left to right on the timeline and there it is over under just like it needs to be short clip but the thing is now this is only half of it so what i need to do is make the other half on the other side so it's 360 this is only 180 degrees so i need the other 180 degrees to appear here on the right so i need to change my uh, sequence settings I'm going to go to sequence, sequence settings right here. And right now it's set to 2080 by 5760. I just need to make it square. I just need to make it 5760 on both. And that will make the size that I need to put two of them in. And I guess I'm going to do one more thing down here. Uh, the VR properties, um, I'm going to say that the horizontal is 360 rather than 180. Uh, not even sure if that's necessary, but it is in fact 360. So I'm going to make that 360 and hit OK. And now, great, I've got the right size, except my video is sitting there in the middle. So let's look at where this video is. Here's the position. I've just clicked on the video and now in the effect control area and, and I'm in the editing um, window set right here. Um, I've got 2880 by 2880 in the vertical horizontal. And what I need to do, because this screen, um, the screen was 2880, I need to go half of that. So 2880, I'm going to go 1440. 
and that's going to drop me over to the left. So half of 2880 will drop me over. All right, great. Let's bring in another video. I'll bring in number two right here, and I'll put it over the top. There it is. Uh, it's also in the middle. Now, I can't use that same number. I have to use a different number. So it's going to be a uh, multiple of 1440 right here. So as it turns out, um, the number is going to be 1440 times 3, which is 4320. It's always going to be multiples of this 1440. So I'm going to put 4320 there. There we go. So now I've got one on the left, one on the right, and a nice big square. The two left eyes are on the top, and the two right eyes are on the bottom. Um, so I could clip this if I want to make it all the same length there. Um, and that's it. You know, it's ready to go. So now the export, uh, you have to change some settings uh, aside from the usual 180 settings. So I'm going to go to Export Media. And here are the settings that we're going to do. Normally, we would go H.264 for the side-by-side -side 180. But for the 360 over under, we want to use 265. So HEVC H265. It's just a couple more down there. So it's important that you do that or else it won't play in your headset properly. It may, it may be okay for YouTube at 264, but if you want to sideload it into your headset, it's got to be at 265. Um, you can give it a name as you wish. And we also have to change the uh, size here of the video because it wants to go 5760 by 5760 and that's not going to fly in a headset. We have to go 4096. So very important you change to those numbers, 4096 by 4096. That's the size we want. That's what's going to work in the headset. Uh, may as well render at maximum depth. That's great. We're going to scroll down. And we are going to, um, we're going to take these target bit rate and maximum bit rate and just crank them over to the right. At 60 is fine. I mean, 50 is probably okay too. Stereoscopic over under looks good. It is VR. 360 is our horizontal. 180 is up and down, vertical. May as well do the maximum render quality. And that's it. Hit export um, and wait for it. It may take a while depending upon how fast your machine is. Uh, so that's it. That's how you make it. Um, now I'm going to cancel this. What if you wanted to do this instead of half and half like this, what if you want to do it in quads where you want four videos? Let's see if I can cancel this here. Cancel, cancel, cancel. There we go. So let's say we want to have four videos. So let's take um, video. Let's see, this is number one. Let's turn off the eye so we can see what's what. Number one is on the left. Okay, so number one's in the right spot. And I want to start stacking these one over another. So I'm going to move number two to be um, halfway down into number one now so I can get four of them in there. So number two, I'm going to go to 2880. And that's going to give it the first quarter right here overlapped over the top. Now let's take another one. Let's take number three. Let's see what three looks like. Right here, got some trees. And I'm going to give that one, and I'm going to give that one 4320. So that's going to be the old 4320, because that's going to be in the old position when we were doing just half and half, so that makes sense. And so now we've got three, and you could even just have three. You can have you know one big one on one side and two little ones on the other. But let's give it total quadrants here. So number four, I need to move this one all the way down to 5,760, which is another multiple of 1440 here. There, now we have all four 
of our quadrants. So let's look at those numbers again. The one on the far left, which is the one also on the bottom, because they're all overlapping each other. So the one on the bottom is at 1440. The next one on top is at 2880. Next one on top is at 4320. And the next one on top is at 5760. They're all multiples of 1440. It just keeps adding 1440 pixels to move it over. So there it is in quads. Same thing with the export. Export media. Again, you're going to be using 265. You want to make sure that it's 4096 by 4096. Maximum depth. Crank the bit rate to the right. Stereoscopic over under, it's VR, 360, 180, great. Maximum render quality, great. Export, that's it, you're done. This will work, sideload into your headset, and this will also work on YouTube. So that's it.